High Desert is headed to Tucson to take on the Pecos League Pacific Division regular season first place, Soguras, in a best of three championship series. The Yardbirds advance by virtue of back-to-back -back trouncings of Bakersfield that bounced the train robbers out of the playoffs. The elimination game, 10-3, High Desert. High Desert's offensive heroes of the night include two-hole hitter Dylan Kester, who slaps this single to right for the first Yardbirds hit. This is in the first. The 23-year-old Pecos League All-Star promptly steals second, serving notice that High Desert can hit the ball off starter Garrett Alvarez and steal bases off catcher Eric Snyder. Dylan Kester hits safely next time up, again. The base hit the other way. Dylan Kester collects three hits on the night and scores two runs. This is fifth inning action. Yardbirds trail one nothing. Donald Glover drives in Dylan Kester with the first high desert run. Donald Glover among Yardbirds hitters hitting the ball better and better at the end of regular season play and on into the playoffs. Three hits the night prior in the 14-4 win at Bakersfield. Enter Ronnie Grant. Five hits the night before. He drives it over the head of Bakersfield's center fielder. Dominic Zayer, then Shane Brown crossing the plate. Ronnie Grant in the third standing up. He is not showboating. This is exuberant joy unrestrained. This is Ronnie Grant being Ronnie Grant and he is having fun. This is the most fun I had out here. The most fun. There's a great group of guys, great fans, great everything. I would love to play here again. I love it. I love it out here. Ronnie Grant's two-run triple gives High Desert a lead they will not relinquish. The Yardbirds drive seven nails into the train robber's coffin with a seven-run seventh. But the inning begins with some confusion. Donald Glover's drive down the left field line is fair. It bounces into the bullpen for a ground rule double. Dylan Kester, who had been on second, should be allowed to score. He gets two bases on the ground rule double, but that does not happen. Dylan Kester back to third, Donald Glover on second. Up steps Ronnie Grant in yet another pressure packed situation. It's a 3 1 ball game, and Ronnie Grant delivers once again in the clutch. The drive to right, scoring Dylan Kester. Donald Glover tries to hurdle catcher Eric Schneider's tag, but is called out. Had the sequence of events about to follow been different, this could have been a huge play. As it stands, High Desert has taken a three-run lead, 4-1. That score does not stand long. Blake Butcher blisters the deep drive to the deepest part of the park. Ronnie Grant prances home easily. Blaine Swift, who had walked to third. 5-1 Yardbirds and the train robbers feel the wheels coming off their playoffs express. After a Yuta Okazaki two-run double, Stephen Wells nearly drives it out. Yuta Okazaki scoring from second. Stephen Wells had homered in the ninth prior route at Bakersfield. This RBI makes it 8-1 and High Desert is not done. Dominic Zayer thinks he has hit it out. It does just miss. This launch splashing down at the Shakey's Pizza sign. Stephen Wells, High Desert run number nine. Dylan Kester's third hit of the night. Dominic Zayer races from first to third. Shane Brown's hard shot up the middle, caroms into center field, Dominic Zayer scores, and High Desert has a seven-run seventh. 
clearing the way for the 10-3 triumph that arrests the train robbers season, sends Yardbirds fans home happy with the team's last home game of the season a smashing success and sets the stage for the best of three Pacific Division Championship Series in Tucson. This online sports report is presented by Juice It Up at Hesperia's Gateway Shopping Center and Apple Valley's Commons Square at Dale Evans Parkway and Happy Trails Highway.